Hello viewers, let's transition next from the advanced section here down to this section for customizing the ribbon. You can just tap the down arrow to move to that section. Just go to the customization of the ribbon. Ribbon customization. So now for this discussion, we really want to focus our attention over here to this right hand panel. This right hand, we want to focus more of our attention on this right hand side. So that's the most important thing that we need to focus all our attention or our discussion on and what we could do with the home menu is we can click this little down arrow just to collapse that section because we are seeing all of it here the home section this one is it, it, it already expanded so we can just click this little down arrow this one they were seeing this down arrow you're seeing here to collapse that just like the way we've done that and if you want to open it to open any of those of those you click this arrow then they will, it will you can collapse it that way and you can open it that way so that's where we are going to put most of our time or our discussion. So now we can see everything that is available to us for the ribbon in terms of all these different sections. In other words, these sections you are seeing here, those are the sections that we have on our ribbon. For those who don't actually know the ribbon, we spoke about it. You can go to our previous videos and be able to follow up. Because I told you when you watch one video and you find it interesting, make sure you subscribe, you like it, hit the notification bell icon so that when you upload any video, you can actually be able to follow up. And we are trying to use a number setting. There are some videos, they are arranged in chapters. So we put video number one, video number two, like 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, until we actually finish all those videos. So we are just numbering them in that format. But number one, it means that is number one as per the start of that chapter. They are also within sections called chapters. We have chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, just like the way you have seen these videos are numbered. You will find number one has been repeating itself for so many times, but that doesn't mean that it is repeating. It means it's a number one of a given chapter. Hope that one is clear. So go back to business where we were, the different sections that we have in our ribbon. So now, as you can see, most of these sections are turned on by default. All these we found, we found them, they are already on by default. In other words, they are turned on by the software itself. It's by default turned, off, turned, turned on in the software. But we really want to highlight what, but what, really want we want to want to uh, highlight here the developer tab when you look at this developer is not ticked because it's not ticked and you want to put some we throw more light like we try to elaborate on on it we are going to recommend that you click that on because it can be very helpful for inserting things like combo box or for recording and writing macros. 
so let's have this also selected because now if you click on this down arrow to expand it and see what is there you are seeing we have code add in control xm ml so those are some of the things that we may actually do within that software the developer tab or the developer section of the ribbon so we have to make sure that at least that one is on the reason that's why we are putting it on because we are going to do what we call combo box and we shall need that developer developer tab so now this is this is really a personal preference but we have chosen to unclick and automate tab since we don't use it too much so we can maybe go back a little bit here so there there are so many here but some of them you can decide whether you can remove them or add them depending on what you actually want to to do so that's what we ha that's what we have we, we have for now if you want that there are certain features that you are not using and you are seeing them there you can actually remove it if you see there is something that is selected but you don't you, you you feel that you are not going to actually use it you can actually remove it so going back to where we've been we are now looking at we are now trying to finalize but there is one other note that you may actually find that you may find actually happening like we have other things that we can add on there we have umakabakas there are those that that are actually subscribed for makabakas to be on their ribbon and you find yourself not seeing it on this on this we shall show you how we can be able to add some of those those things there so there are some other plugins that you can actually have and these plugins they are really helpful and they are going to help you like makabakas it's a plugin which can help you really speed up your 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 keyboard shortcuts and automate a lot of repetitive functionalities within the within the microsoft office so we may not actually have an opportunity to discuss makabakas within this tutorial but as time goes on maybe you have subscribed we can actually have some different tips that will help us understand also makabakas and how we can actually use it because it's a very interesting tool if at all you learn or if at all you have subscribed to it you have a subscription for it you can actually use it it's not for free but as for now since it is just a start guide let's focus on what we have before including in all these other add-ins that we we can have so let's focus our attention in the next video and try to look at something next or we learn something we learn some lesson over what we call the quick access toolbar it is the next one on our agenda as you can see for the setups so we just want to look at to learn something about the quickbooks sorry quick access toolbar it's something that we are going to look at and we want also to look at its customization so that we know 
if I want certain things to be customized within our quick access toolbar, what should I do? So those are the things that we are going to discuss in the next video as we are looking at the quick access toolbar. We'll see you there.